The biggest thing with Downton Abbey is that it has um, attracted a wide-ranging audience. It's an international phenomenon as well. And what we've done with this exhibit is we have connected it directly to the history of the City of Toronto and to the history of this family. And I think um, people really like that connection with reality, with, with what is real. And I think that's the strongest um, point for this exhibit. We also have uh, costumes on display from our city collection because again there's a really nice comparison between the fictional world of Downton and what really happened in the city of Toronto. I think that this exhibit would draw in a young audience. Vintage fashion is really kind of hip and cool and there's always an interest in kind of vintage shopping in Toronto and that's a really good connection to make with the young people living here right now. So we have a wide selection of dresses from the show. So for instance we have a group of uh, working dresses. Uh, we also have a comparison between day wear and evening wear. We have quite a nice collection of those. We have a couple of the men's outfits. It's really unique. It's the only chance probably that I'm going to get living in this area to see this kind of show. It's a really good um, entry into the history of the City of Toronto at this time. All of the panels that we have draw comparisons between what the characters were wearing and what um, people from this family and in the City of Toronto that were sort of similar social standing would have worn.